Now, the second basic operation of sets is intersection, as we already seen. So, what is intersection of sets? Intersection is nothing but the common elements which we consider from both sets A and B. So, let's see with the most simple definition as we can go through. Intersection of sets. The most simple definition out here is, it is the set of common elements. It is the set of common elements of set A and set B. Say for example, we consider the two sets A and B, then the common elements of A and B is nothing but intersection. And Intersection is generally denoted by reverse of union, that is, by like this. When the union is u, intersection is the inverted part of union, that is, intersection. Union and intersection are obviously said to be the opposite of each other, they are antonyms of each other. Therefore, it is denoted with this. And let's continue with an example to understand this more clearly. If I have set A as minus 1, 5, 4, 9, 11, and 13, and I have set B as 11, 3, 4, 5, 6, 0, minus 1, 9, 10. Now I have two sets which are having different elements out here, but my definition says, pick the common elements. It is very simple to identify the intersection because I pick the common elements from A and B. Say for example, <coughs> this is the common element which I identify here. And phi is also a common element out here. 4 is also a common element here. Nine is also a common element here. 11 is also a common element here. But 13 is not a common element because I don't have 13 in the second set. So this does not form the element in the common set. So all the common elements which are circled are minus 1, 5, 4, 9 and 11 which are also found in the second set B. Therefore these common elements when written in the set form is A intersection B. It is denoted with intersection. So A intersection B is minus 1, 5, 4, 9 and 11 is the intersection of two sets A and B is the intersection. Now how do I understand this diagrammatically or by Venn diagram representation? Let's continue with the same example and understand through the Venn diagrammatic representation. Now when it comes to Venn diagrammatic representation, we all know that we start with a rectangle. So the universal set which stands for a rectangle is the first thing which I consider, then the set A and the set B are the two sets which are considered in the universal set. Now intersection is considered to be this region which is common between A and B. So this region is called A intersection B denoted by the shaded region. This is A intersection B, the common region of sets A and B. Now, what are the elements in the common region? Minus 1, 5, 4, 9 and 11. So first, initially, we fill up the common elements as identified algebraically here. So the common elements are written in this region, which is minus 1, 5, 4, 9 and 11 are the common elements in the region. The rest of the elements of A, which is only 13, comes 
in this region outside of the intersection but inside the circle A because this element is part of set A. Similarly, all the elements which are circled are already filled inside this common region. The rest of the elements are written outside the common region but inside the circle B so that I get 3, 6, 0 and 10 which are taken in the second set. So this is how I understand the intersection of two sets in the Venn diagrammatic representation for this example to be considered. The algebraic form and the Venn diagram form of union intersection of two sets. The set builder form of intersection. Let's see how we represent the set builder form for intersection of two sets as we already discussed with the union which was represented with or intersection is represented with and and this is how we write the set builder form of intersection of sets is a intersection b is x such that x is an element of a and not only that x should also be an element of b because that element in the intersection part is inside this which is common region of a and b so it must lie both in a and b therefore my set builder form is understood in intersection concept as x as that x belongs to a and x belongs to b where this stands for intersection in general form so my learning outcome here is that union is or and intersection is and as we can see in this case of set builder form. So now that we have learnt about intersection of sets comes the disjoint sets as a special case of intersection of sets. The word disjoint means they are not joined with each other. So mathematically the disjoint sets are defined as the sets which have nothing in common. So let's see in brief about disjoint sets. So in general form, the sets which have nothing in common. So if you start picking the common elements in set and B, A and B, if you don't find anything common, then we say the two sets are disjoint. Even if one element is common, then we cannot say the sets are disjoint. Say for example, I have set A 1, 3, 5, 7, 9 and set B 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Now clearly I can see that if I pick the first element of set A which is 1 is nowhere found in the second set. Similarly the second element also nowhere found in, second, in the set B. 5 is nowhere found, 7 is nowhere found and 9 is also nowhere found. So this makes me understand that these two sets have no element common. They have nothing common and such type of sets as defined here which have nothing in common are called disjoint sets. This being the perfect example. So I conclude saying that since A and B have no common elements Therefore, A and B are disjoint sets. So what makes us understand when I compare the intersection with disjoint is the most important concept connecting the intersection with disjoint. Let's recap with the intersection of sets which says that the set of common elements of set A and set B taken together is called the intersection. So Disjoint is somehow understood to be the contradictory of intersection of sets definition. The sets which have nothing in common and the set which has common elements is something which makes us understand that we can relate this with this and how mathematically. Note, if A intersection B 
is nothing. Nothing in the sense null set or empty set or this. Then I can say that there are no common elements because in case of this, there is nothing common in the sense A intersection B is null set. Therefore, if A intersection B is null set, then A and B are called disjoint sets is how I understand this mathematically. So when I identify A and B to be disjoint sets, I find A intersection B and if A intersection B is null set, then it is a disjoint set. In this case, A intersection B is null set. Nothing is common. So empty set, no elements. So an empty set and hence A and B are disjoint sets. Now, how do you represent this in the Venn diagrammatic form is also equally important. So how do you represent the two sets in Venn diagrammatic form? So disjoint sets are generally denoted in the Venn diagrammatic form by just not joining them because every intersection sets have something in common but if A and B are disjoint sets then I write them separately A and this as B but I do not join them because nothing is common they are separated. So disjoint sets are denoted in this form of Venn diagram. They are separated but not joined. This being the definition. Nothing 